The road to the Deva Sanzan began for us shortly after leaving the city of Tsuruoka. We crossed the Shonai Plain, heading east, and passed under the Hagorosan Ol Tori, the largest tori in the Tohoku region, on our way to the first of the Dewa Sanzan Mountains, Mount Hagoro. Zuishin Mon Gate marks the entrance into the spiritual world of the mountain. This is the first stage of pilgrimages among the Dewa Sanzan on the way to rebirth. From the Suga no Taki Falls, water pours into the Harai Gawa, the river of purification, where Yamabushi mountain ascetics perform purification rituals before pressing on with their Spartan pilgrimages. Beyond Jiji Sugi, the Grandpa Cedar, and seemingly doing its best to blend in with the rest of the cedars on Mount Hagoro, is the magnificent Hagoro five storied pagoda nearly 30 meters tall. The climb at Mount Hagoro is dominated by the mountain's famous stone stairway all 2,446 steps of it. Nearing the end of the climb, we caught up with a group of Yamabushi, clad in white Shiro Shozoku robes, worn to represent their metaphorical passing from the world as we know it into the spiritual realm of the Dewa Sanzan. After the stiff but beautiful climb, we reach the top of the mountain where the Sanjin Gosaiden Shrine awaits. Sanjin Gosaiden is distinct for two things. It's where the gods of the Dewa Sanzan like to spend winter, and its thatched roof at 2.1 meters thick is the thickest thatched roof in Japan. The roof is in a constant state of maintenance, which amounts to it being replaced every two years, a Dewa Sanzan Shrine priest told us. The expansive grounds of Sanjin Gosaiden, with its horrid worshippers and insta by photo spot, actually came as a shock after having experienced the kind of secret garden world of Hagoro's stone stairway. Mm -hmm. 
any feeling of rebirth was replaced by a desire to return to the quiet of the mountain slopes and the shelter of the giant cedars. But this is just the beginning. The true Dewasanzan pilgrim is yet to confront their past and contemplate their future on the other Dewasanzan mountains before returning to Hagorol and re-entering the world reborn. Our journey would end before it could continue. We were to take the toll road as our way off Mount Hagoro. On the way down the mountain, we pulled over at a quiet parking area to look south and contemplate the rest of the Dewasanzan. Maybe we felt the lack of having not pressed on with the pilgrimage laid out before us.